In the latest chapters of the Baki Rahan manga, it has been confirmed that Jack Hanma has increased in size again. His previous maximum height was 2 meters and 43 centimeters, which put him very close to the height of Pickle, one of the tallest characters in the Baki series. However, in the most recent chapter of the manga, we can see that Jack is now even bigger than the prehistoric cavemen. Some people continue to deny this fact and claim that it is just a drawing error. However, even Jack himself joked about this when he told Pickle that with his hair standing on end, he could almost match his height. The elder Mitsunari also emphasized that even now that Jack looks down at Pickle, the caveman might see him as a small dinosaur. This has generated a lot of debate among fans, some of whom see this as something positive, while others believe it has gotten out of control. Then there are those who think that Jack's obsession with getting bigger has become ridiculous. Now we all wonder if his bones are reaching a point where they could become more vulnerable to direct hits. Also, his size and weight might affect him against faster and smaller opponents. While Jack has now gained more strength and power, it remains to be seen if he can compensate for that with speed and explosiveness. And well, that's what we're going to talk about today. In this video, we will discuss this topic, as well as the psychological reasons that have driven Jack to such extremes and the physiological impact that constant surgeries could have on the health of the biting cyborg. Similarly, we will look at both the positive and negative sides of the perfect body that the biting cyborg is developing. Jack is my favorite character from Baki. I followed his story and evolution from the beginning, and I love that in this new part of the story he is being given more prominence. For now, I like the direction the narrative is taking. Jack has earned his father's respect and is on his way to becoming one of the strongest characters in the series. In this video, we will talk more frankly about him. While I like what he has achieved, I'm also concerned about how this may affect him in the future. He said he does not expect to have a long life, but I hope he does. So let's first talk about the positive aspects that Jack Hanma has gained with his new height and physical strength. Jack Hanma's transformation in terms of height and strength has brought a series of notable advantages that could positively impact his performance in future battles. Firstly, the increase in his muscle mass and body size has significantly increased his brute strength, allowing him to physically dominate his opponents more easily. This additional strength not only improves the impact of his blows, but also gives him an advantage in stopping the frontal attacks of large and heavy opponents. Additionally, his imposing height and musculature provide him with an intimidating physical presence. The mere sight of Jack can generate fear and doubt in his adversaries, giving him a psychological advantage before the fight begins. The greater muscle mass also contributes to superior endurance and durability. Jack can absorb stronger blows without suffering significant damage allowing him to stay on his feet while preparing for a counterattack. We already saw that this worked for him in his fight against the cord cutter Kosho Shinagi. Another significant advantage is his enhanced ability to resist submission techniques. His size and strength allow him to control his opponents more effectively, making it difficult for them to submit him easily. This was proven in his fight against Nomi. On that occasion, the Rikishi was unable to submit Jack with his grip techniques due to the size difference between them. His new height and strength provide a better adaptation to face large opponents like Pickle. His body is now more suited to withstand and counterattack the assaults of big and heavy opponents. This physical ability also gives him an advantage over smaller opponents, as they will have to devise new strategies to take down a fighter as large as him. Explosiveness is another virtue of Jack Hanma. Many might think that the taller and heavier Jack is, the slower he will be. However, this is not entirely true. In his fight against Nomi, we saw that Jack is extremely fast and possesses explosive starting power. At one point in the fight, Jack executed a sequence of movements that Nomi was unable to see. In less than a blink of an eye, Jack was able to move in front of him when moments before he was at a distance of about 10 meters. We must also add the power of his bite. Now if his rivals know they must keep their distance and avoid close combat as making contact with his titanium teeth can result in serious injuries. Jack's bite is not only a devastating technique but also an intimidating resource that adds an extra layer of danger to his encounters. This power allows him to destabilize his opponent's strategy, forcing them to stay alert to avoid making mistakes. Now let's review the motivation that has driven Jack Hanma to obsess over increasing his height and being seen as the tallest and strongest fighter of all. This motivation primarily falls on three characters who have had a significant influence on Jack's transformation throughout the series. Jack Hanma's obsession with artificially increasing his height and strength is a complex issue that can be understood through several factors, such as a sense of inferiority and the need to be noticed. 
Compared to his brother Baki, Jack has always felt overshadowed by him. Baki, despite his smaller size, has demonstrated fighting skills and mental fortitude that have made him a formidable rival, even for Yujiro. After the father-son fight, Baki became extremely popular, and thanks to Yujiro recognizing him as the strongest man in the world, all eyes have been on him. Now everyone talks about Baki, and the strongest fighters want to face him. Seeing Baki's success and natural ability, Jack might have felt inferior, and, as a result, seeks to compensate for this emptiness through physical enhancement and extreme methods to improve his strength. At the beginning of the story, Jack was already big and strong. He stood out among the other fighters. However, when standing next to his brother, who is of average height, he feels overshadowed, as now everyone knows Baki, the boy who was able to give the ogre, the strongest creature on earth, a tough fight. In his mind, Jack sees himself as smaller compared to the enormous figure and reputation Baki has built over the years. Then came the prehistoric caveman Pickle, who became the new sensation. His size and strength made him stand out above all the others. Jack felt jealous of all the attention this primitive man was receiving. Jack's bite was also a distinctive feature, but now Pickle had surpassed him in that as well. Without a doubt, these were enough reasons for Jack to want to confront him and reclaim his place as the only beast in the underground arena. However, as we all know, Pickle destroyed Jack on two occasions, which was a total humiliation for him. Since then, Jack has become obsessed with surpassing Pickle in every aspect, both in height and biting power. After several surgeries to lengthen his bones and completely replace his teeth with titanium ones, it could be said that Jack has managed to surpass Pickle. At least, that is how it seems, and it will be proven the day they face each other again. We could say that Jack's obsession with being taller is mainly due to Pickle. Without knowing it, the caveman caused a deep trauma in Jack. Being treated as a food reserve wounded his pride, leading him to swear revenge against Pickle. However, despite the humiliation he suffered, Jack eventually developed respect and admiration for this primitive man, whom he considers his predecessor. In his last encounter with the caveman, Jack made it clear that there is a piece of art he would like to see in a song he longs to hear. He said he only wishes to see Pickle cry in the same way he did in the past. Jack wants to see the look of despair on Pickle's face and also wants to hear his laments when he feels powerless after being defeated and humiliated in front of everyone. This could be seen as Jack's way of overcoming one of his greatest traumas. Returning that feeling of helplessness and humiliation to his executioner is the only way he can close that chapter of his life. We cannot ignore the influence of Yujiro Hanuma in Jack's life. Jack's need for validation goes beyond mere parental approval. It is a desperate quest to prove himself worthy of being a Hanma. This feeling of always being one step behind, not just compared to his brother, but also in the eyes of his father, has intensified his desire to surpass any physical and mental limits. Until recently, Yujiro had acknowledged Jack's improvements on a few occasions, but always as something less important than Baki's achievements. This treatment has reinforced in Jack the idea that his value is measured solely by his strength and physical prowess. Deep down, Jack wants Yujiro to see him not just as his son, but as a true rival worthy of his attention and respect. In the Baki Rahan manga, we'd have seen that Jack has finally achieved what he sought so much, his father's approval and respect. Yujiro invited Jack to a dinner, and for the first time, treated him as his son. Yujiro recognized Jack as a worthy opponent, and praised him for his physical and mental resilience in undergoing tough training and painful surgeries to achieve the perfect body. The ogre also recognized Jack's bite as a martial art and praised him for not giving up on it even when others mocked him, saying that biting is an action for women and children. To Yujiro, Jack's willpower is something admirable. With his father's approval, Jack has no limitations on continuing to subject his body to chemicals and surgeries. If it makes him stronger, his father will respect him. These three characters have been fundamental in the evolution of Jack Hanma, and it is crucial for him to surpass and defeat them to prove that all his efforts have not been in vain. And well, now let's analyze the physiological aspect and the consequences the biting cyborg might face if he continues subjecting his body to so many chemicals and surgeries. I mentioned that earning Yujiro's respect is a great achievement, however this has a downside. Jack has undergone a new surgery to lengthen his bones and surpass pickle size. This implies that he will likely abuse more chemicals to keep his new body stable. Although no side effects have been seen in his body yet, it is important to discuss the major disadvantages Jack might face in the future. Increasing height through bone lengthening surgeries 
to make Jack's bones more fragile and prone to fractures. This means his current bones do not have the same strength as natural bones, increasing the risk of severe injuries in combat. Moreover, the short recovery time Jack takes after each surgery is alarming. While a normal person would need years to recover, Jack takes only weeks or even days to get back into action. He likely suppresses the pain with a large intake of chemicals and pills, which is harmful to his body. In the midst of a fight, this would be a key factor, because although he might be eliminating the sensation of pain, this could confuse his mind and make him think he is fit to continue fighting when clearly he is not. Excessive use of chemicals and pills can cause serious health issues, such as liver damage, hypertension, and hormonal imbalances. Although the hand of blood seems to grant him some resistance, it is not infallible. For example, Baki was affected by Yanagi's poison and could not eliminate it from his body on his own. Jack might be in a similar situation, containing diseases and conditions with more chemicals, but these could explode at any moment. It has been said that Yujiro is immune to almost any poison and disease, but using Baki as a reference, it is unclear if his sons possess that same resistance. Every time Jack undergoes bone lengthening, his body is forced to compensate for his new size with more muscle mass. This means that his heart has to exert more effort to circulate blood through a larger and more muscular body, potentially leading to cardiac issues and a decreased ability to sustain endurance during extended fights. While I previously mentioned that Jack retains his speed and explosiveness, it remains to be seen if he can maintain that pace if he continues to push his body as he has been. From a more analytical and critical perspective, we can conclude that Jack's obsession with becoming bigger and stronger through artificial means has deep psychological roots. Compared to his brother, Jack has always felt overshadowed. Despite being smaller in stature, Baki has proven to be greater than Jack in various aspects. Then we have Pickle, an even bigger and stronger opponent who intensified Jack's feelings of inferiority. The caveman not only surpassed him in size but also in brute strength and demonstrated having stronger teeth. This had a profound impact on Jack, driving him to desperately seek methods to surpass the primitive man in every way. So we could say that Jack's need to be taller is primarily due to Pickle. Being treated as food by this primitive man deeply hurt his pride and triggered something in his mind that has led him to surpass any human limit to achieve the perfect body. As a final reflection, I must say that although Jack's evolution can be seen as a great story of overcoming obstacles, we must also view it from a more critical perspective and understand that he is a man who has abandoned his humanity and morality in pursuit of power. He is willing to do anything to reach his goal, even if it costs him his life. But the real question here is, would you be willing to do the same to fulfill your life's purpose? And while this has been my analysis of the biting cyborg, the beast of the underground arena, the man who sacrificed his humanity to achieve his only dream in life, that is Jack Hanma. And well friends, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.